we were always close, you know, there. And, and you team in as a, as a team or in the game? As a team. We are good. I mean, we are good the whole season, so that, that didn't change at all. Did getting that win in San Antonio give you guys more confidence going into the game? Mm, <coughs> yeah, I mean, we, 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 yes. We just, we just, we need to go there and, and be aggressive, be physical, be, be what we did in, in game four, you know, especially, it's really, it's really hard to, uh, to beat them on the road, you know, so they are a really good team, but when we are aggressive and we are playing for each other, we are physical, we can win the game. The Coach had a lot of good things to say about your defense. How are you? Just so, what do you think Talk about your mindset on that end in the series. Uh, it's, to be honest, every game is kind of different. Uh, you can see that the, I think they did, they, they, did, they did not come to double team in last game, so I had a little bit more 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 space to play. The first game they were there, so I had um, ten assists, fourteen assists. So good pants. I think you can be aggressive, but you need to score to be aggressive. So, how about, how about your defense? Oh, you asked me about defense. Yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah, I didn't even pay attention what he was talking. Uh, yeah, same thing. Like, you just need to be uh, aggressive. You need to be um, into them. You, uh, I think uh, any player in the world is good when he's uh, relaxed. When he's not playing under pressure. So. You just need to be there, you need to be pushing him, whatever, just to put him out of his comfort zone. How do you prepare for the changes that you know are probably coming, but you don't necessarily know exactly what they're going to be? Can you say again? <laughs> <laughs> you, you figure San Antonio is going to make some adjustments and some changes. You don't know what they're going to be, so how do you prepare for what you don't, what you know is coming, but you don't know what they are? <laughs> uh, you, um, you know, our coaching staff is doing a great job, so especially DA, he's talking to me all the time about how they, they guard some different uh, players and what I can expect. So just to see the different looks, uh, and by watching a film, by uh, just talking to the guys, hey, they're gonna come to the basement. They're gonna come like just to know what to expect, you know. So you never know what they're gonna do in the game. It's because the basketball is a live thing. So, um, but you can know what to expect. Nicole, when it comes to post footwork, who are the guys that you, that you really liked when you were coming up as a player that you you studied their post footwork? Tim Duncan. Duncan was. Nicole, uh, to be honest, he was just aggressive. They, uh, he lived in our paint. They, they, uh, he was like literally, he had like ten open layups. Like nobody was near him. So we thought he cannot play. That's a lie. I mean, everybody who he, he can, he's here, he can play. You know. So, uh, but we kind of help. Of him too much, you know, he's, a, he's a great player, of course. Uh, he's a starting point in the playoff team, and, uh, and Pop is giving him a lot of chance to play. So, we see something, and uh, we were just aggressive, and uh, we, we, we kind of pay a little bit more attention to him. Can you talk more about what you like about Duncan, what you saw in his game that you tried to emulate? I mean, the guy that's probably the top two of top three power forwards in, in the game ever. Ever. And he won five. I mean, he's and he's uh, how he even I mean he, I, I play against him in my first year. He could not move that much in that type period, but he gave me easy twenty. Like I did not touch him. Like I couldn't do nothing. He just like just uh, for fighting for the position with. Um, uh, Pivots, all kind of easy shots, uh, finding an open space, uh, setting a screen. Uh, uh, you can just watch him, you can learn a lot of things. You guys used to make it really differently in that game before. It seemed like you had more rolling action towards the basket. Jamal had a couple wider looks. No, I just uh, rolled a little bit more. Yeah. Because they thought that they, th they think I'm not a oh. 
think I'm a partner and I'm sitting like 25% of the three, so I'm a roller. Nice, Nicole. Hey, guys.